In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your Roblox Studio game development experience into a dance party. A keyboard dance party, that is. With these handy shortcuts, you'll be whipping up games and coding like a pro in no time. Say goodbye to slow and tedious workflows, and hello to a faster and more efficient way of creating your next big hit in Roblox Studio. Let's get ready to hit those keys and bring some fun to some game development. Anywho, back in Roblox Studio, I'm gonna go over a few keyboard shortcuts here. Hi, Rusty from the future here. Keyboard shortcuts are kind of like secret codes that let you do things in your computer faster. Instead of using your mouse to click on buttons, you can press a combination of buttons on your keyboard to get things done more quickly. These shortcuts are like shortcuts in real life that can help you get where you're going faster. So the first thing I'm going to say here is these aren't all the shortcuts you can find on Roblox Studio. I'm just going to go over like the key ones you'll use the most and the ones that I use the most. You can find the link to all of them down in the description below. Anyways, to start, I'm going to start off with all the simple ones that you're going to want to know. It's like speed or long in Roblox Studio and so say you had a part in the workspace right up here and you wanted to be able to move it, scale it, rotate and you didn't want to have to click on here every single time and do that. I'll show you how to do that. You can just press Control and 1 to go to the select one, Control and 2 to go to the move and when I'm saying Control for all you Mac users basically uh, I believe Control is the same as Command on a Mac computer so uh, when I say control, just think of command. Control 3 or command plus 3 goes to scale. Command and control goes to rotate with 4. And then command and control number 5 goes to a special thing called transform. As you can see, this gives you like weird vision. If you want to turn it on, you can scale it in any direction you want. It'll give you the exact size and number of studs. You can like move it around, you can rotate it. Anyways, now that we're done with all the simple uh, key binds, I'm going to press Control 1 to go back to my select. So, a few other good ones that you need to know is say I was way, way over here, across the side of the base plate, and I wanted to get back to my part without having to walk all the way over there. What I could do is I could just click on my part in the Explorer and then click on the F key and boom, it teleports you right there. You can do the same thing with any part in the workspace. So I'm just going to move that all the way over there, press F and boom, it's right back to where it was. Now we can get into some of the obvious ones such as the delete key will delete your part. Uh, escape, say you had like the base plate and the camera and all your parts, if you were to press escape, it cancels a selection of everything, or you can just click off if you'd like to. Now, some of the more useful ones are going to be things like control or command and G. That will turn into a group, a grouped model even. And if you'd like to ungroup that, you can press control and U. That'll just ungroup it back into a part. And another thing you can do is in case you accidentally did something you didn't want to do, like say I grouped this part again, I could press Control or Command and Z, and boom, it'll go back to its normal because I just undid the last action that I did. But say I didn't mean to undo that action, I can press Control, Shift, and Z, and it'll go back into a model. Now, a few other uh, ones that you're probably going to want to know are the copy, paste, and duplicate keys. So control and C will copy the part. You can test this by right clicking somewhere else and you can see that the paste button will light up. You can either click on paste from there and it will paste in your part or you can press control and V. That will paste the part right on top of the other one and you can just do that infinitely. Now I have all these parts in the workspace instead of clicking on each individual one and deleting it. Well what I can do is press control and A and it'll select every part in the workspace and I can just press on delete and boom it's all gone just like that. So that's useful if you ever want a blank slate or want to restart on something. And now let's get into some of the more useful parts of Roblox Studio. So say I had this nice part right here. 
but if I put it in the air and then run the game, you'll see it will start to fall. And that's because it's not anchored. Now instead of going all the way over here and pressing on the anchor button right here, you can press on Alt and A, and as you can see it immediately anchored that part. Another cool thing that you're going to want to learn is the tilt and rotate keys. These ones can be pretty fun to mess around with, such as like Control and R. As you can see it rotates it, I believe 90 degrees over on the Z axis. And then if you were to press Control and T, it'll tilt it upright 90 degrees on the X or Y axis. And you can combine the two to get any sort of combination of rotation that you would want just really fast. And so using the Control and D to duplicate the part, say I had these two parts right here, and I wanted these two parts to become one part. I can grab both of these or press Control and A to select all the parts and then I can press Shift, Control and G and as you can see that will be made into a union and this is now one part. Now if I wanted to negate this part I'd need to say Shift, Control and N. As you can see it's now a negative part but say I wanted to just separate those two parts instead of negating it or turning it into a union I can press Control Z to go back to where it was a union and then press shift control and U. And as you can see, I have my two different parts back again. Now this one, it's one that I've never uh, used before actually, but it's very interesting. All you're gonna wanna do is press alt and X. I believe alt on a Mac is option, the option key, so you can press that. So the option key or alt on X, as you can see, it will close or open the explorer tab as many times as you want to. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it's used for exactly in case you just wanted to open or close explore really quickly. Another thing that's pretty useful is say I had this part and I wanted to find its transparency really quick but I didn't want to go ahead and click on this filter properties right here. Uh, what I can do is I can press shift control and P and you can see that my little keyboard indication thing right there will show up which means I can type there so I can just search for our transparency just like that and it's easy so I can do that with any part what I can do is I can open up the Explorer with that other key bind click on a part here and then do shift control and P and now I can search for the transparency of that part. So I think that's all the keyboard shortcuts I've lined up for you guys today. Remember you can go into the description down below, click that link and go ahead and grab the rest of the shortcuts if you'd like to learn more about this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did, make sure you subscribe. Anyways, till next time, enjoy your coding, enjoy your keyboard shortcuts.